Hello and welcome to my review of the TSSD 680. This is a budget radio I picked up from AliExpress a couple of weeks ago. I thought I'd show it to you guys to see what you think. Uh, nice rubberized buttons on the side of it. The nice shiny gold front plate, which is unusual. And just do your channel selection, 16 channels, UHF, this radio, um, with the volume on off on the top of it. Claims to have an output power of 7 watts and uh, a frequency range of between 400 and 520 megahertz which is software selectable as we'll see a little bit later on uh, push to release there for the battery overall it's got a really nice finish to it now uh, battery claims to be a 7.4 volt battery but we'll, we'll test that later on and the output power of course um, comes with a nice sturdy charger base um, a little bit squared off and sort of old-fashioned looking but it's nonetheless reliable and uh, comes with the uh, Chinese plug and double insulated cable, which is very nice to see. The usual accessories, uh, the hand strap, the belt clip, which is reasonable, but not overly strong or overly weak, and your standard UHF antenna. Uh, the instruction booklet or sheet, shall I call it, um, basically just covers the basic functions of the radio. Uh, it, you should be okay if you've used any of these radios uh, before and this is, shouldn't be necessary really for you to uh, to actually play and operate with the radio. Um, this the software does let you uh, uh, control certain aspects of the radio, which we'll we'll find out a little bit later on. And uh, that's the instruction booklet. Um, the radio in itself it feels very well made. Um, the battery certainly feels a good weight. Uh, I don't know if that means anything. Um, but we'll, we'll go on to its capacity as I've mentioned. Um, the standard Kenwood accessory jack on the side there is got a nice rubber flap it seems really well sealed against the elements I wouldn't see you having any problems there and it's got overall a really nice feel to it and um, I think you'll agree it does look a smart little unit. Um, the base again uh, just wanted to show how easy this is to slot in. Some bases are fiddly so I always show this onto the uh, the power next. It'd be interesting to see how this uh, lines up with the other radios. But on the bottom scale and uh, we can see it's just one watt which is what I would have expected which led me to wonder what the battery voltage was. So I got the meter out and uh, thought I'd do a quick battery check and um, even though the battery says 7.4 volts uh, actually checking it out with the meter we found something a little bit different uh, so this this is a little bit naughty of the Chinese I've never seen this before a battery claiming to be something it isn't and this is clearly not a, a two cell battery so that's something to be aware of now something I'm going to jump to is one of the comments on the Zasto Mini 9 vid, uh, video somebody mentioned that you mustn't charge the battery via a USB and you should use the charger now a lot of these batteries have got a built-in protection circuit board uh, you can check this out very easily by applying USB power to the unit or the radio and then checking what back, what voltage you see on the terminals. They have this little circuit board uh, as shown top right built into the batteries. The All of the Baofang units have these built in uh, and so the, the very easy way to check this is as I've said is plug it into USB as it currently is and get it charging. Now if the USB is directly across the battery terminals you will read um, you will read obviously 5 volts off your battery but if you've got this battery protection board in there you won't as you see here this battery is charging at 3.99 um, you can see the input voltage there at 5, 5 volts as standard off of USB so don't worry uh, it's worth checking but check you've got this little protection board in there I know a lot of the older really old Bafangs had that built into the batteries but it's worth checking um, so uh, back to the uh, the software program with this radio um, one thing I had to do was put the radio into compatibility mode, the software into compatibility mode. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this software from, but if you set it up to running compatibility mode, you'd be okay. I couldn't see the ports until I did that. It wouldn't show me the ports. So anyway, I set it into English and did a read from the radio and it was absolutely fine. Now, what I tend to do on these cheaper Chinese radios is program them up for PMR. And initially, when I tried to do that with this radio, I didn't have any joy in doing it. Um, it kept saying that it wasn't available or that was that the, the Chinese English translation isn't great. But what I actually found was the you have to actually set the range uh, of the radio in, in I think it's in the uh, machine info. Uh, you actually have to set the range of the radio first before it will actually let you change the frequency, uh, which some of the some software does this. So 
I was I was finding I was typing in uh, and it says there you go beyond the limit of the scope of the input. Um, so if you go into that machine info one, you can actually then set it to the correct frequency range. I haven't tried any of the others. And then when you go back to you read from the radio and then go back to program it, uh, you can actually then program your frequencies within that range. So now I typed in 446 and it accepted it. So that's something to note. Um, there are other options that you can set in there. The squelch level, now I set mine to one, but I found it to be a bit too sensitive. I'd, I'd change that to three if I was you. Set the time out to a high level and battery uh, state and beep. You can leave all that on. And then right to the radio, once you've got all your frequencies in there, you can do your repeater splits and everything. Now this is the website I got it from. It claims to be on the advert a TYT radio, but I see no mention of this radio on the TYT website. So I think it's just another manufacturer who I'm not going to pronounce, but I'm going to call TSSD that passed this off. Now I haven't got the badged box like that. I've got just a plain, plain brown box for this radio, uh, but it certainly, to my knowledge, is not a TYT radio. Um, but this does happen quite often with the Chinese products. Right, let's go out and test it on site and see how we get on. Right, we're at location A. I think this is one of the first times I've been up here for a while. We haven't had snow on the ground. Okay, let's, um, let's go out there and uh, test the uh, TSSD. See how it gets on. Right, we'll try this uh, TSSD 680. This frequency in use, please. This is G7 LNK portable location A, approximately six miles with the TSSD 680 testing. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Let's see how that sounded. This is G7 LNK portable location A, approximately six miles with the TSSD 680 testing. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, we're at location B with the TSSD 680. Uh, it's going to rain, it's already a few drops on the window there, so we're going to get out and try and do this as quickly as we can. Let's try one more time. This is G7 LNK portable at location B with the TSSD 680. Location B, six miles testing. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see how that goes. G7 LNK portable with the TSSD at location B, approximately six miles. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Well, another one bites the dust, another review. Um, the TSSD. Uh, I've seen this, well, it's marketed on, on uh, AliExpress as a TYT radio, and it certainly isn't a TYT radio. Um, what do I think of this radio? For the money, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's quite solid. It feel, feels really well made. Um, I quite like, I'll be honest, the gold bling bit on the front. It's a bit unusual. And they also do a variant of it in silver. Um, Power-wise, it seems reasonable. Or what? I mean, it's a little bit disingenuous. Well, to totally disingenuous of them to put that the um, the battery is a 7-volt uh, battery when it's not. Um, but you know that's China. They they do this. They do these things um, to con us into buying them. But um, all in, it's uh, for the money. I think it's really really good. I mean, it's a BF triple eight, really, isn't it? In, in a different skin, it probably isn't the same chipset, but it's certainly of, of that sort of standard. It's got a better charger than the triple eight, and it's got a better cable. It's got double insulated cable. Um, what else can I say about it? Not a lot else really. The, the battery looks quite like it's quite substantial. It'll be interesting to see how that stands up. But all in, I think it's a, a really good, really good little radio anyway. So um, if you have been watching this video, thanks ever so much. Keep an eye on the channel. There's more uh, videos to come. And I hope you're enjoying this, uh, this new run of videos that I'm putting together for you guys. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.